Okay, everybody, so I just made this uh, gas pedal. Been walking out here for a little while. Um, here it is. Um, it's very simple. I'll, I uh, was able to use some stuff that I took off the lawnmower. Um, this um, steel is from an exhaust from that um, it's not as thin as this um, that I had somewhere on here it's pretty much that um, very lightweight I mean you know just it's all the same steel that and that and then I drilled two holes in it so that I could um, mount it uh, then there was this other hole in here that I bent and uh, kind of made bulk um, and I put the screw through there and there was a, already a bolt hole there and then I had to weld this on which I kind of did wrong not the welding pole, but it, that's the long bracket. I should have put a different one on there. But um, it's pretty simple. Um, you, all you have to do is get a piece of um, sheet steel um, and bend it up. This one I bent up. This one I was already bent. Um, and you just kind of cut it out and you cut this one out and um, to weld on this um, and this is the piece you guys see that came off of that ATV right there actually not that one but but this is pretty much going to go like this and then the cable is going to run through it and then down to the foot throttle. This is obviously on the Craftsman, not on that, um, which the Craftsman actually blew a belt. I, I, I probably blew the belt. Um, but yeah, hoping it's going to work real good. Um, I still don't know a tensioning spring or like a spring to make it go up and down, but works really nice. Um, I don't know if I want to put another hole on it on the other side, but I don't know. We'll figure that out. So, um, yep, we're using other stuff. So, um, yeah, if you got an old John Deere and you want to make a gas bubble, this is how you do it.